Breakthroughs for treating people who are paralyzed have been happening at a remarkable pace. And at the World Cup in Brazil next month, we may see something we've never seen before. Fox 5's Liz Dollam shows us why some are comparing it to putting a man on the moon. How's that feel? Actually, it's pretty good. Okay, come on back. How's that feel? <laughs> Cindy Cullinane has spent the past 13 years in a wheelchair after losing most of her leg function in a car accident. But what you're about to see is truly remarkable. Leaning, 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 get the crutches in position. And standing, 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 keep your crutches in place, try not to walk them. That's it. And get your balance. Hold you on, good? Hold on. I got it. I got it. Cindy is using what's called an exoskeleton. It has motors at the hips, knees, and sensors underneath the foot pedals. For the first time in more than a decade, Cindy can put one foot in front of the other without any pain. Once you're standing up, like the world is so much better up here. Cindy is one of 13 patients participating in a three-year study at the Kessler Foundation in West Orange, New Jersey. Patients have 100 sessions with the exoskeleton, and Dr. Gail Forrest tracks their progress. Determining what the change in her muscle is, determining what the change in her um, bone mineral density is, and just looking at her functioning um, while working in the robot. With a walker, Cindy can only take maybe one to 12 steps a day. But when she uses the exoskeleton, she can walk around 2,000 steps in about an hour and a half. It takes down the swelling in my legs from sitting in the chair. It makes the digestion better for me. It's just, and mentally, <laughs> Mentally, I couldn't even tell you what it does for me. If things go according to plan, a new exoskeleton will make its debut at the World Cup in Brazil. And if Brazilian-born neuroscientist Dr. Miguel Nicolelis gets his way, a paralyzed young adult will walk onto the field and kick a soccer ball with the help of an exoskeleton. Dr. Nicolelis created a robot that taps signals from the brain to operate prosthetic limbs. Where our thoughts are changed into electrical signals, which can then control an external robot. Dr. Stephen Kirschblum is the Kessler Institute for Rehabilitation Medical Director and says displaying a new exoskeleton on the world stage could help make wheelchairs obsolete. Whenever you want to walk, you're not consciously thinking about it, but unconsciously, your brain is telling the limbs what to do. In the case of a spinal cord injury, for instance, that message is still there. The brain still wants to walk, but is unable to because the message is cut. Here, though, the message can bypass the damaged area, can be connected to a computer that will control the limbs of the exoskeleton, allowing the patient then to be able to walk in this device. Exoskeletons are only available to rehabilitation centers and cost close to $150,000. Experts hope that cost will come down if the technology becomes more widespread. The hope for the future is, is that it will allow people back into their homes, back into their communities and be able to be more independent. If I had one of these at home, I could do so many things by myself and it would just be so much better. Wow, so that woman right there has been paralyzed for 13 years. I mean, just talk a little bit more about her mindset. She's clearly going to be thrilled by this technology after all so this time. So Cindy's been a part of this program mm -hmm. now at the foundation for about, I don't know, six weeks. Uh, so she's had a couple of sessions. But the doctors were saying her progress so far has been remarkable. Mm -hmm. Most importantly, her mood has changed. Mm, I, I can only imagine. Being in the upright position, she can now get to a friend's house, walk over a stoop, reach in the cupboard, mm -hmm. grab a glass, be more independent. So that's been a, a real, real breakthrough. The big thing, the price right now, 150 grand, but hopefully that will drop as the technology gets better. And exactly, better. and the foundation's getting more of these machines, one later this week, hopefully another in a couple of months. So more people will be able to use them, and the more it's used, the more the price will hopefully drop. Pretty incredible. All right, Liz Dahl, thank you very much.